you about uh, what you've heard about the Tala Rouge, the, uh, the allegations in Cologne and Sweden about large yeah. numbers of rapes and attacks on women. What is your, what's your viewpoint on that? Well, I mean, first of all, I don't, I don't think it's that clear that this was actually made by refugees, that refugees are responsible for it. I think it's really being used as a way to scapegoat refugees, which is very, very dangerous. And it's being used by poli politicians who are like, trying to heat up things and trying to affect German public opinion because Germans, the majority of Germans, I'm from Germany myself, and the majority, majority has consistently been pro-refugee and has volunteered, and it was politicians and people from the top um, that try to try to actually trigger that hatred towards refugees. And it's really, really deadly, in, especially in a country with a history of Germany, where there are still militant fascist movements that go around killing people, for politicians to go around and stir hatred towards refugees. But I understood it's it was young, young women saying that they'd been attacked by refugees, yeah. not politicians at all. What do you say to those young women? Well, I say to, I mean, I'm a young woman myself, and I think any case of sexual assault and sexual violence we have to take very seriously, and there should be no tolerance to it. But these acts should be seen by, as conducted by individual people, and these people, individual people, whether they're refugees or not, should be held accountable for assaulting women. But this, the way it's been framed in the media, that's the problem, because it, there is a drawn, like a dry, direct correlation between refugees and assault one, which is just not true in this racist. And we shouldn't, we shouldn't accept so, that. So what do you say to the fact that it wasn't reported in the media for up to a week because they did not want to make those correlations? Well, I mean, it should be reported that the assaults took place. That should be taken seriously. But that correlation, there's no evidence for it. And I think it's, it's not acceptable. I mean, we should talk about sexual assault, sexual violence. I've been harassed in Germany a lot of times, and it was always by white people. I don't have the experience of being harassed by refugees. Um, sexual assault is something that needs to be taken seriously, regardless of where it comes from. What we see now with Charlie Hebdo suggesting that Island Curdy, a, a three-year-old boy who died, would somehow be responsible for these assaults. This is what the kind of racism where it leads to, and that's something we can't, as women, as feminists, we need to stand up to sexual violence, but we can't, we can't be complicit in this kind of racism. We need to challenge that.